in any kind of creative writing, we always talk about sensory detail and what it is that evokes memories for you. I use bits of memory. I tease out sensory details, the scents and the sounds and the taste, to feed the writing, to make it pop. I'm very much craft-oriented, mind you, which galls my students endlessly sometimes when they see my endless questions in the margins. Well, what about the number of times you repeated this word? What is the significance of this, the repetition of this word? Does it have a, um, does it, it has it to do with the way it sounds or it has to do with um, um, subtle layering of meanings? Is there nuance here that we need to, that you're trying to get us to understand? Or is it just repetition for the sake of repetition and you need to go to a different image? I think for many writers, it's those early stories that we remember and we fix on. When I was born, my parents were living in a farm labor camp. My earliest memories are of the sounds and sights of the camp, especially the men playing guitar. The idea for the poem, Finest Fruit, and for the book actually came from examining how hard it was to feed my son well when I was on welfare. And from that came the idea to begin the entire book about how difficult it is to raise children in conditions of poverty in this country. My friend Willie Jones, who is really the core of this book, who was killed the night of his high school graduation party, I swore that for the balance of my writing life, I had to honor the courage and the sweetness and the kindness of a boy whose life had touched so many other lives. And I'm writing on a larger, on a larger level now that it's not just about Willie anymore, but it's a much larger problem and a much larger sadness in poor, in poor parts of the country. Our program at CSU Monterey Bay is creative writing and social action. And it's looking at issues that affect communities about which we have, have no knowledge sometimes. There's this other layer, and that is making meaning in the world, making meaning out of the world, making sense out of your own position in the world. There will come a time in their life when they're going to look backward at their life and ask themselves, was I careful in the way I went in being in the world? Um, was, I, was I empathetic enough? Was I kind enough? Was I loving enough? And then translating that into the writing.